Hello friends, my name is Zamit Bhatt. Welcome to AMD Networking BGP series. In this video, I will explain you route reflector in IBGP. Why it is important in IBGP, I will explain you in this video. Let's begin. Route reflectors in BGP. Here I will explain you first split horizon rule in BGP and its behavior to avoid loops in BGP table. First, ISP of AS10 send a network prefix to service provider of AS100 and inject into BGP table here in path column in BGP table is added as AS10. And now service provider of AS100 send this re received prefix to AS200 now the path column grows here it comes from 100 then 10 to reach the destination and now service provider of AS200 send to AS300 now here 200 100 and 10 under path column now AS300 send to AS10 and to what AS10 do to this packet it drops this packet one more question arise here how AS10 knows that it is my self originating packet it check the packet and see its own AS number 10 in it so because of split horizon this is the BGP loop prevention mechanism in eBGP peer the different ASs put their AS number in it that's only change under path column is done. IBGP prefix sent to other IBGP peer network update and it does not forward that network update to other IBGP peer. This is good for loop purpose. Now the problem arises so BGP required full mesh to send the network update to every IBGP peer. Why route reflectors? Here we have three router we establish full mesh. Here is not a big deal to establish full mesh and the formula for how much peer required IBGP for full mesh. N is equal to node is equal to routers. Here we have three routers so we do little math to calculate with the help of the formula 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 peers required not a big deal if we have a 10 router or 100 routers is normal in ISPs so if we have 10 router we required 45 peers 45 TCP connection establishment how much bandwidth required to maintain the TCP session and network admins configuration is also a big challenge now router reflectors come to picture with the help of router reflectors in BGP to allow us to bypass this restriction. Fewer neighbor connections will result in less bandwidth and CPU usage. Route reflector client form neighbor adjacencies with the route reflector server. BGP update will flow from server to the client without the client having to interact with each other. Router 1 can be configured as a route reflector server. Both router 2 and router 3 would only need to pair with router 1. Now we will take console of router 1, router 2 and router 3 to configure router reflector server and client configuration. Let's check first configuration part. Router 1 is established peer with router 2 and 3. Router 1 receives 3 prefixes from router 2. And it does not forward to router 3. Because of BGP problem issue, now router reflector in BGP resolve this full mesh requirement in IBGP. Let's start configuring router 1 route reflector server and router 2 and 3 client here is the small configuration for this we do 
router 1 see config t then press enter then in under bgp process router bgp 10 and here we have to give the command neighbor 192.168.10.2 and here is the magic command is route reflector client then enter then we have to again the command for router 3 neighbor 192.168.11.3 route reflector client enter that's it and who in with the help of these commands we establish the route 1 as a server and act as a server and route 2 and 3 as a client route reflector client so let's let we ch go to router 3 to check it receives prefixes from router 1 which it receives from router 2 and does it forward to router 3 or not let's check uh, now uh, yeah it is it receives three prefixes which it receives from router 2 and it forward to router 3 and without this full mesh it receives the prefixes from router 1 and now it is able to ping to the destination of 201.201.201.9 in so that's it we are able to ping to destination so now only router 2 and 3 would need to pair with router 1 in this video we accomplish the task route reflector and its importance in BGP I hope this video is informative for you I like to thank you for viewing please like share and subscribe